You might recognize this blade either from any of our 2019 fights or from our team logo. As the name might suggest, the long bar is our longest blade, coming in at 48 inches. It's also one of our more visually distinctive weapons with its aggressive teeth and curved edges. I'm Nick, weapon designer for Team Bloodsport, and this is the blade that started it all, the long bar. When we designed the first version of Bloodsport, we went for two different weapons. Last time, we talked about the key, which was supposed to be our anti-spinner weapon. The long bar, meanwhile, was meant to carve into heavily armored opponents and dish out big hits. When we found that the key lacked the reach we would need, though, the long bar was pressed into service for all of our 2019 fights. The teeth on the long bar have two main features to help it cut into opponents. First off is the aggressive 8 degree rake angle. On a rotating cutting tool like our blade, the rake angle is the angle between the leading edge of the tooth and a line drawn from the center of the blade to the leading corner. Machinists out there, I hear you. This angle is usually calculated differently on lathe tooling, but here since the blade rotates, assuming the surface being cut runs tangent to the spin circle, a neutral rake points straight out from the center of the weapon. A positive rake edge points toward the spin direction from behind, meaning that when the weapon digs into an opponent, the leading edge grabs material and pushes it up the blade, helping to deliver a better hit and carve more material out of their armor. Many horizontal spinners on BattleBots actually run weapons with a negative rake angle, but some compensate for this by having a chisel edge that slices into opponents rather than carving. In our view, the positive rake angle is particularly good at catching edges, and the 2D profile makes it possible to manufacture using a water jet or laser cutter rather than needing to be milled. The other main feature is the relief profile on the trailing edge of the bar. When carving into armor, while the leading edge digs in and peels material away, the entire piece of armor deforms temporarily around the weapon pushing into it. After the weapon passes, it snaps back into shape. Tapering off the tooth on the trailing side allows the bar to get out of the way of this pushing material sooner, allowing us to cut deeper by putting less energy into temporarily deforming the armor and more energy into removing material. Much like with the key, this tapered off profile also helps make the end of the weapon a smaller target for vertical spinners, which came in handy when we ended up needing to use this weapon against Black Dragon and in the rumble with Railgun Max and Uppercut. In hindsight, while the long bar was very effective at cutting into armor, the rake and relief profiles were perhaps a bit too aggressive for a heavyweight, leaving too little material supporting the end of the tooth. We ended up chipping a tooth on one end, which I believe happened during the Black Dragon fight. In fairness, this bar was meant to mainly fight non-spinners, but it's a weak point we learned from nevertheless. The other problem with this bar in 2019 was its tendency to go unstable. To adapt it for reuse in the 2020 season, we designed the stabilizer wings from the thick bar to also work with the long bar, which allowed us to add the same wings to both bars and get the most out of our spares. We did design a different pair of wings to better match the aesthetic of the long bar, based on the design from our Season 5 application render, but we never ended up getting these made. For this year, we mainly brought the long bar back as a backup weapon, given how much wear and tear it's seen from the six fights it ran in last year. In terms of strategy going forward, we would probably use it in a fight where we need its long reach, or if we need to cut into a bot with a blade of armor like Shatter. Who do you want to see this bar return to fight against? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe and give our social media pages a follow. Thanks for watching!